Mr. President, I rise today concerned about the threats to the special counsel's critical investigation of Russian interference in the 2016 election. Over the last several weeks, a growing chorus of irresponsible and reckless voices have called for President Trump to shut down special counsel Mueller's investigation. At first, these calls came from the fringes of our political discourse, those who would refuse to put our country and our security before base political instincts. Earlier this year, many of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle were right to push back on these misdirected calls and urge that the special counsel be allowed to do his job without interference. However, in recent weeks, those voices seem to be growing in stridency and in volume. Just this weekend, one major news organization suggested that Special Counsel Mueller could be involved in a coup against the President. One senior advisor at the White House has now outrageously alleged that the fix was in against Donald Trump from the beginning. Those statements are reckless, they are inappropriate, and they are extremely worrying. They are at odds with the President's own lawyers who have pledged to cooperate with the special counsel. Beyond being irresponsible, the seemingly coordinated nature of these claims should alarm us all, particularly since in recent days, these baseless accusations have been repeated by several members of the House of Representatives. I believe it is up to every member of this institution, Republican or Democrat, to make a clear and unambiguous statement that any attempt by this president to remove Special Counsel Mueller from his position or to pardon key witnesses in any effort to shield them for, from accountability or shut down the investigation would be a gross abuse of power and a flagrant violation of executive branch responsibilities and authorities. These truly are red lines and simply cannot allow them to be crossed. Let's take a moment and remember why Special Counsel Mueller was appointed in the first place and why it remains so critical that he be permitted to finish his job without obstruction. Recall last spring, we were all reeling from a series of confounding actions by this president, beginning with the firing of FBI Director Jim Comey on May 9th. Mr. Comey was fired just two months after publicly revealing the FBI's ongoing investigation of the Trump campaign and, as we would find out later, after several attempts by this president to improperly influence Director Comey. Try to put yourself back into those dangerous days. Director Comey's dismissal was met with confusion and widespread condemnation. We needed a stabilizing action from our nation's law enforcement leadership. We needed some certainty that the facts would be found and brought to light, regardless of what they were.